Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of that show that will not be named. I am your host Brian or to Game Prince, whatever you prefer. And today I haven't gotten any sleep because essentially I've been up most of the night contemplating something that I'm gonna share with you now. Um but before I get into it, I need to preface it by asking you a question and explaining something. <clears throat> Y'all ever seen 1988's Scarecrows? Probably mentioned it on here a while back. It's one of my favorite horror movies. It's one of those horror movies that truly scared the fucking shit out of me growing up. Essentially, um, is this movie is about a bunch of paramilitary people who work at, uh, they're, they're stationed in Fort Pendleton in California. And essentially, they steal like $3 million and they plan to escape to Mexico. Unfortunately, before they can make it to Mexico, um, one of the members of their team, Bert, greedy son of a bitch, uh, takes their loot, the $3 million, and jumps out of a plane into a cornfield. Uh, after he jumps out of the corner, after, you know, they're, they're pretty much forced to land to try and um, retrieve him and the money, beat his ass, kill him, and then get the money back. And they land the plane. They took two hostages, by the way. The dude who flies the plane and his daughter. And their dog. And essentially, they land in this cornfield that is, I'm gonna say, it's essentially haunted. There's, there's like, there's scarecrows everywhere, but the scarecrows are like apparently possessed by these, um, these people called the Fowler family. And there's three of them. And the Fowler family were apparently like Satanists. And in death like they possess the scarecrows and the scarecrows are murderous and the scarecrows kill you and then they turn you into scarecrows and it was such a good fucking movie so i mean kind of slow moving to be honest kind of slow moving but it's one of those movies where it's like nothing happens it's like oh, nothing's going on and then when the scary shit happens the scary shit happens but um very good film it's one of my favorite horror films definitely fucking scared the shit out of you it's a good date night movie I think um but uh essentially the thing that I was sitting here wondering about it's like I think it's like 9am I'll go to bed soon but essentially the thing that I've been up most of the night wondering about was uh they it's mainly about the direction shit okay the, the main thing that was on my mind was that where where that cornfield could have been. Um, and this is probably something stupid to be wondering about at, you know, 9 in the morning after no sleep. But hey, I'm me. So, uh, yeah, essentially I was just wondering about why, where the heck that cornfield could have been located. Because I've looked up on maps, you know... Um, the paratroopers in the film left Fort Pendleton in a plane, and then they're trying to go to Mexico. But most of everything out over that area is all, like, deserts and big fields and shit. Not a lot of forests, because there was a lot of mountains surrounding that area where they were in. Italy. Honestly, the cornfield looked like... Or, like, the farm in the cornfield looked like it was surrounded by, like... Not marshlands, but, like, they were surrounded by a lot of green, like, mountains and shit. Like, the whole, like, the farm was located within, like, this circle of mountains or whatever. And, uh, it's kind of cool, uh, because anything that was on the farm that works, like a car. Um, this dude gets into a car in the movie, and he tries to leave the, uh, farm. And as soon as he gets on, like, the outer reaches of the farm, the car stops. He opens up the car, and it turns out there's no engine inside. 
So the entire farm is kind of like spiritually fueled. Really cool shit. Anyways, getting back to the point. I was trying to figure out where the hell this cornfield would be because in that general area, everything's just like deserts and shit. And I went up online and I was looking at it and everything. And it's funny because I actually went on Google Maps and I'm like, okay, so if they left at Fort Pendleton and followed a flight pattern down to Mexico and then landed, I'd say about halfway. And I, I just couldn't figure out, and I was running that all through my head, and I just couldn't figure out where they would have landed. And then in the ending, spoiler, someone does survive. Mm. Um, and they, uh, at the ending, they essentially, it ends up being told to us that they escaped and made it to San Diego. So, I'm trying to, th like, I was just looking at this map for like fucking like a good 30 minutes going, Okay, so if they landed here and they went here, how could they have gotten here? And then, but where would the where would the farm be? And blah 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 blah. And then after about like an hour or two of that, I realized, you know what? It, it it's a movie. I don't think I'm ever gonna find the answer. <laughs> if the director ever sees this, though, yo, if you could tell me exactly where that farm is in the context of the story, I I just that would just amuse me. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And, uh, yeah, I hope y'all found this at least somewhat interesting. And, uh, definitely check out Scarecrows. I'm pretty sure it was made in 1988. It's like one of the first horror movies I, w I decided to buy on DVD. Like, there, there was no way in shit I wasn't having that in my collection. So, uh, yeah. Thank you a lot for joining me, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.